Again, this is happening, a shooting taking place uh, 20 miles north of San Diego at the Shabbat of Poway Synagogue, uh, happening this morning at 11.30 a.m. there, local time, Pacific time. And Ted, how much time do authorities, first responders, have in questioning this man that they have in, uh, in custody who may or may not be related to this shooting? How much time do they have to get as much information out of him before an attorney shows up? Well, uh, as much time as uh, is they're in the investigatory stages, so they can question him in the investigatory stages. Uh, quite naturally, when he actually becomes a direct suspect, at that stage, uh, his constitutional rights may kick in, and they will certainly advise him of his rights. And they will also advise him that he has the right to remain silent, that he does not have to say anything. But you find, uh, and I found sort of like even at the Tree of Life uh, in Pittsburgh, that these people uh, who carry out these, these shootings like this, they always, not always, but the, for, for the most part, they want to say something. And so, and, and so what they're trying to do is to try to determine Again, if this person is acting alone, who he is, what was his motive, they want to try to find out where he lived. They want to try to immediately move in those directions uh, to try to find out as much as they can. They are putting together what I define as a footprint. And that footprint is where they are going backwards from the time of the shooting to try to find out what was the motive, what was the person's involvement? What others involved? Is this, and, I, and again, I don't, I don't want to make this, say too much about this, but is this a terrorist act or is this something personal? All of those things are trying to be developed at this stage. Well, Ted, though, if it was personal, it, it potentially you would, one would think that it would, could be one victim, that if it's a domestic situation, the person would be going after one person, not four. And there are reports to local media in San Diego that uh, multiple people shot, four transported to the hospitals. Um, does that then g give you any indication in that way that it may not be a domestic? Well, and sadly, what we uh, 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 tragically in this country have grown to expect and have suffered uh, so many times, too many mass shootings. Well, you're right, Eric. And, you know, I've been on with both of you all, and we've covered numerous shootings that were not personal and that uh, people were just soft targets and targeted. But we don't know. It's too early for us to say either way, because a lone gunman can go into a place like this and really have one target in mind, and in even shooting at that one target, other people can very well be injured. So it's a little early for us to say one way or another. But uh, it is concerning to me, based upon what you and I and Othell have gone through over the years in covering these shootings, that there may very well be uh, just a soft target and someone took advantage of a soft target. And I say that simply to say because we are dealing here with a synagogue where the, there are multiple uh, individuals there uh, uh, and and they were, as we know, they were dealing with Passover at the time. So all of this is very concerning as to what uh, uh, the motive was. I would have to believe, guys, that very soon here uh, there's got to be a press conference. Uh, I think that the law enforcement officers as well as uh, public officials there know that the community in and of itself is in in a, a heightened state of alert. So they've got to have some kind of a press conference to let us know what is going on as soon as we pot as they possibly can.